So, my name is Mamadou. You're highly welcome to Fatalo Reserve. The reserve is 6,000 hectares. All the animals are free inside. But um, we are using 2,000 at this moment. So, we have antelopes, giraffes, zebras, uh, rhino, one. Uh, we have colorful birds. If you are into birds, you are lucky to be with Mamadou because that's my real profession. Okay, we hope to see giraffes, zebras, uh, rhino, uh, he's called Kevin. Um, we have buffaloes, patas monkeys, green velvet monkeys, red colobus monkeys, endangered species. You know? Um, we hope to see also um, giant elan antelope, the one which is only in Senegal at this moment, endangered species. Less than 300 left in the whole world, which is very sad. We hope to see um, Rowan antelope, waterbuck antelope, bushbuck antelope. The antelope? Mm -hmm. yeah. Huh? Yeah, I'm in Banya. I'm, I'm antelope. No. They're very sensitive also. Um, most of the antelopes, they're very sensitive. They're good in hearing, they're good in smelling, they're good in eyesight. Yeah, and very fast also. Guys, we can smell a load of mint over here in this, in this region of the safari. So we're gonna grab some. Oh. The guy in here is grabbing us some. Yeah. And not to do. Yeah. Mamadou. Uh, Mamadou, Mamadou, wow, yeah. Mamadou is grabbing us some. Mm. Uh, look, okay, so we're gonna make yeah. some fresh mint Some use it to insecticate. Mosquitoes in oh. inside the rooms. If you put a bunch of it, yes, so it scare all them out. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So you hear that, guys? The mm -hmm. mint is a natural mosquito the repellent. Mint uh, um, I didn't know that. It's something you certainly are going to need well, here in Senegal. Also, um, mint is very good, for, you know, to aid digestion yeah, and um, you know, can help your stomach. You know, especially if you've got an unsettled stomach. Yeah. It will, um, it's antispasmodic. Monkeys. Monkeys on the left. Monkey. Monkey. Look at them, look. They're, they're eating the bush mango. Ah. They're uh, eating the bush mango. Oh, the mango. The, oh, that's good. That's a goose bush mango. Yeah. Bush mango, right. It's, they're circle. Yeah. Yes, we, we were trying to figure out what they were earlier. When yeah. we came in, there was a tree at the bush entrance. Bush mango. And then it's a, the scientific name is called Cordela pinata. See, so this is what this whole series is about, guys, is, you know, living with the land, finding alternative ways to live, living more holistically, Living more harmonious, you know, if we can find lunch here or breakfast or dinner here outside, you know, growing wildly as nature intended things to be, then yes, yeah, so, so, so it will be, we will, you know, we will, we will eat and not over consume. Oh, here we are. Wow. Mr. Bushman go, is ready to eat mm -hmm, now? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, just give it a taste. Then it's not been washed. We do have any? Do we have any water on us? It's okay. You are in the nature. Man. Yes. Okay. You don't need the cover. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, this is what it looks like. I told you, guys, earlier from the aroma, the scent. It's like a mix between an avocado and a mango, and passion fruit. So it's literally like a crossbreed. They are called cap giraffe. They're very silent animals, but sensitive also. Very good in eyesight, hearing, and smelling. Yeah. Um, a tongue of a giraffe is 45 centimeters. Yes. Um, it's blue and rough. Um, it's very rough also, you know, to browse on the leaves. So gestation period of a giraffe is 15 months. Life expiries, they can be 30 to 35. So one kick can kill a lion. One kick of wow. a giraffe can kill a lion. Okay. Yeah, because they can kick also both in front and behind. Okay. Yeah. At times they grace, but not um, most of the time. When the elephant grasses are a little bit higher, like two meters high or 1.80, mm -hmm. they can um, open their legs a little bit to graze. Okay. Yeah. When they drink also, they open their um, front legs and then they enjoy the water. When they're delivering, also the baby fell off. Okay, falls down. down yeah, it's down it might die. It might survive. Yeah. Okay, I see. 
And this one is how old? 18 yeah. years. 18 years. 18 years old. Wow. This is old. And, this is and then a newly, born, a newly born giraffe is 1.5. Newly born giraffe is 1.5 high. Because as we were looking at the giraffes, we're seeing the guide here has noticed there's a footprint here. Can you see this? See this here? There, 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 there. He's saying that's the footprint of a rhino. So he's following the trail over there. He's got, so we can see some rhinos. The back foot and the front feet can kick out and kill a, a, a grown lion. So we have to be careful while we're out here, you know, in the open. The guys are over there in the car. Did you, did you find the, uh, the rhino yeah, good start way. trail? Good start Maybe way. this way. I think we have broken down here in the in the reserve, 6,000 hectares in, in the middle. Imagine, look, look at the guys are trying to fix the car. Look at the giraffe is looking. You see? We're here amongst all of these wild animals. I guess, I guess we said we wanted to be amongst nature. <laughs> oh guys. Are there any predators in here? Yeah, we got predators. We got hyenas. Hyenas in here? We got Can hyenas. Animals, eh? Yes. We got jackals. Jackals? Yeah. We, hon we, we got honey boys. Yes. And they're and hyenas. Wow. Hmm? Guys, we don't want to be stuck in here too long. Oh, the giraffe is moving. Look, guys, have a look at this. Look at that, guys. Can you see it? I think the reserve like is closed. A lot of people have gone home. We might we might have to bump start it, push it. We've pushed it back now. We're gonna push. We're gonna stop bump start it. Woohoo! We made it, baby! Oh yeah! Woohoo! Oh yeah, baby! Oh yeah, my phone. <laughs> they can be 800 kilos up to one ton. Very aggressive. I don't even trust them because the way they are, they are solidarity. I remember giraffes they don't make noise. Hmm. They're very silent animals. Okay. No one. There's one giraffe over there. Two, there's, there's the youngest. Two giraffes over here now. Yeah, there's the baby, um, baby six giraffe. months old. Six months? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. In the uh, back, in the back. Yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. sitting down. Oh. Yes, yes. Wow. Might just get a chance of seeing a baby giraffe, guys. Six months, not a baby. There we are. Is he lying down? Lying down. All these young foods are female. Okay. Tall guy just picked us up some fruit from the trees. Yeah. This one they call here in Senegal is quite popular. Mad, mad, mad. They all have it in, in Senegal. Um, 
And he's got another fruit there. I don't know which one this is. Um, Oh, wow. Wait, wait, wait. Which one is it? Wait. This is mud? Mud. Oh, it looks different. The flavor. No. This one is more ready. Oh, more sweet. Okay. This one's bitter. Uh, you can tell sour. by the color, guys. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You can tell by the colors. One sweet, the orange, orange one. This one is yeah, sour one. Mm. Wow. Tangy. Uh -huh. Slightly yeah, underwrapped. I know this. Mm. It's so good. Oh, it's sour. Proper natural sour flavors, ma'am. Yeah. Mm. What we're saying is that the ladies in Senegal, they like the sour, the sour mud. And the guys like the sweeter one. Sweet and sour, baby. <laughs> they like the mud so much that Henri's gone to get okay. some more. He's got fresh mud. <laughs> Henri, I like this. you like this one? <laughs> okay, we got it. I have been tracking the rhino, but um, I just saw the footprints again yes. and um, the parts where he was um, grazing, but um, uh, nothing I can do, you know, I don't see it. Okay, no, Maybe somewhere okay. else. Okay, yeah. Okay. So those are the western giant eland antelopes. They are the biggest antelope in the whole world, endangered species, but well protected by the Senegalese government and a project from Czech Republic. Um, it's less than 300 left, which is very sad, but they are doing well in Senegal at this moment. And then we are planning to um, retrow other ones to the um, national park of uh, um, Nyokolokoba, the biggest national park of Senegal. So um, they can weigh 900 kilos up to one ton. They can run 70 kilometers per hour Whilst running, they can jump one meter point five high. Yes, wow. Tarotrachios derbianos. That's the scientific name of this antelope. Wow. Yeah. So the males, they got bigger horns, longer julep, and a big head. Okay. So the females, they got smaller heads, smaller horns, and shorter julep. You know? Okay. That means the males are attractive in the wild. Okay. Right. You can see more far ahead. We'll come back to get some more mud. I think we're all addicted to mud now. <laughs> come here, the girl, come. We need the giraffe. Okay, 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 watch it. Watch it. In the way down, it. Thank you, man. This is for new? For new? Oh? This is for new? Yeah, yeah. Yes, for new. He's collected some fruits, wild fruits, man, fresh from nature. Yeah. Uh, non GMO, no preservatives, no pesticides, no herbicides for his son. We're out here. Hyenas, rhinos lurking around. And we're risking it all for some mud. <laughs> wild mud. Beautiful, man. Bittersweet, tangy. Oh, man, the flavours. It's called the Saba Senegalensis. And yeah. locally called mud. Okay, yes. Yeah, yes. In, in Gambia you call it um, a kaba. Kaba. Yeah. Wow. It's sweet and sour. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. Pregnant women love it so much. And then it's very grateful also if you have fever. Okay, right. Yeah. Wow. And uh, Mamadou, he's here, he's from the Gambia. And we're right on next to the border now of Senegal yeah. and Gambia again now. Um, so yeah, that's where this place is located, right next to the, the Gambia. Yeah. And uh, why did the pregnant women like it? Because you know pregnant women, they always like sour things. Yes. You know, if they, uh, it helps them also like the babies before, before they deliver. When they deliver also, you know, the baby get very clean yes. and healthy. What is this? Solom. Solom. So apparently this is more like in the Dhaka region area, but... This one? Oh, this one. Apparently the, you can eat the, what's inside. How yeah. do you open yeah. this? Like this, yes? Like oh, look. there, look. Yes. Oh, look, there's 
my turn. So you go like this? Uh. Yeah. Ah. Wow. Okay. It's sweet. Mmm. Mm. Wow. It's different. It's like a sweet, like, like sour. Um, it's yeah, too sour. Um, it's like, it's like chewing a, a bubble gum. Like bubble. I don't yeah, know this yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah, guys, it has a little seed. Save your seeds, guys. I'm gonna save these seeds for our farm. We're gonna eventually have one day. No, do one on goes, 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 goes. Uh, look. But guys, this is where all the flavors come from. From all these, you know, a conventional, you know, sweets they have in the shops, and all the flavors and the, the all the fast food and the crisp and the chocolates and the fizzy pop they all come from nature all of the flavors the original flavors and it's all just synthetic now isn't it? it's been mimicked um, we need to come back to the so we need to come back to the source man look at this in abundance out here vitamin C very healthy this is solemn 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 yeah we picked these guys so it tastes like little cola balls or bottles inside or bubble gum or something like that um, so it's very rich in vitamin C you were saying that's why you know can't you see the animals are very healthy you know <laughs> out here yeah I guess you have to be to fight off everything more zebras more zebras the baby oh baby zebras All the while it's very clean, they're happy, and then, yeah, so nice and cool. Lovely. Lovely and jolly, that one is waking up. Right, guys, that's the end of our safari trip here in Fatala, Fatala Wild Reserve. As you can see, we're about to leave the place, come back in our taxi. The same taxi driver agreed to take us back, so. I'm about to end the vlog here. I hope you had a great time with me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this, to this video and the channel if you can. You know, if you like what you see, you know, us exploring, you know, the different countries, alternative ways of living, and just having jokes along the way, man. So yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Oh guys, I also want to say, man, the people here, the guys here, and, and the girls here, they're very proficient at what they do. They're very professional. You know, they kept us safe. They're really, really, really professional with the uh, lions and assertive. Um, so I'd recommend this place, you know, if you want to if you come to Senegal and then you could probably go to the Gambia from here because we're on the border uh, and explore. Um, so I'll link the place in the, in the description somewhere as they, as they do here, there, there or somewhere. Adi, what do you want? You want to say bye? Ciao. Adios, ciao, bon voyage. Ciao, fatala. Ciao, fatala. Ciao, fatala. They can with Ray Mama Fasa. You know I come from Mabasa. I was raised on the streets. I had to hustle just to eat my own mother's who's shopping food on the streets. Hey. I'm packing heat on the streets. Hey. So I knew I could never be weak. So I knew I would never be weak. Hey.